How big is the Accessories market? Accessories business is uh, approximately close to $30 billion now. And um, most of it is done by uh, um, uh, small little retail shops that are actually around the dealerships. If you drive around a three mile radius in any dealership, you'll see them. Uh, it's done by uh, large auto uh, companies like auto, uh, AutoZone or Pep Boys uh, and online. Unfortunately, dealerships represent a very small share. What percentage would you say dealerships capture of that $30 billion? Amazingly, the dealerships are less than 5% of the market today. So dealers, we are getting beat 95% of the time. 95% of $30 billion should be, could be coming to you. And instead, it is going to someone within usually a three-mile radius of your dealership or online. That's bad news. It is. It's a, and not only that, I think that dealers can actually, if they get involved in accessory business, they can change the entire paradigm because they are selling accessories. They will sell accessories that normally don't get sold by those restylers or, or other shops. Is so that because they can put them into the financing, or is that why is that? Is it because there's a particular window when the vehicle's new, things that you can do to it? Why why could a dealer succeed not just to the level but an independent but beyond? It's a combination of the stuff that you've mentioned. So, for example, if you do financing, then you can definitely enhance the budget of the cons customer. So instead of the customer spending 300 bucks, they can spend $1,000 easily. That's one area. The other is that there are certain products that people buy when they are in that mode of the new car handshake. Yeah. And they don't get those products even either offered <coughs> or they're not in that mode when they're going into the shops. So when they go into the shop, they're normally going in there for the big accessories that everybody knows about, like DVD players, navigation systems, leather, window tent. Uh, spoilers, step bars, tunnel covers, things like that. But what we're finding is that the dealerships that are actually actively promoting accessories are selling new accessories that were never sold before in the industry. For example, a huge item is body side molding. Uh, now, if you go into a shop to customize your car, body side molding hardly ever enters a conversation. But amazingly, every dealership that is actually doing accessories as a proper promotion is seeing that, that that number goes up. There are other accessories like, you know, OEM makes products, so many products that are never offered to customers. For example, Honda and Toyota has these ambient lighting under the dashboard that most people don't even know about. But amazingly, when you start presenting it, you start seeing so many people buying those kind of products. Another one of the interesting products that we have actually mentioned in our trends report, that really surprised me the most, and that was rear view mirrors. When I was in the car business, rear view mirror was never ever thought as a conversation piece. Then who would ever look at buying a rear view mirror? Because every car comes with one. But what's interesting is that in the industry now, rear view mirrors are coming with different options. Some rear view mirrors with navigation, some rear view mirrors have backup cameras, some rear view mirrors have compass. So one of the, what we're finding out is that when you offer these kind of products, the consumer will actually surprise you every single time as to where they're going. It's funny, the last new car that I bought, which was from basically the dealership and myself, but I wanted and changed out the rearview mirror <laughs> in it before I took it home because I didn't like the factory, the standard rearview mirror that it had. Interesting. Um, and I don't know that I would buy that rearview mirror again, but at the time of sale, I was really intent that I didn't want that standard rearview mirror. And I don't know that I've used the features that it came with, but I spent the money when I <laughs> bought the car. I made sure the porter put it in before I drove it off the, you know, before I drove it off the showroom. Right.